So I like the range We have lost the time That was so hard to find And I would lose my mind If you won't see me Should want to hide, but I can't get through. My hands are tied. I will want to stay. I don't have much to say, but I get turned away. If you won't see me. I'd just like to take a second and thank E. Gordon 225 for suggesting this version of the song. I never uh, saw it performed in the key of G, so that was pretty cool. And if you want to play this in the, in the regular standard key of A of the original recording, all you need is a capo on the second fret, and you can play this version right along with the original recording. It sounds pretty good. But the, the non-capo version in the key of G is obviously easier on the vocals, easier to hit some of those high notes. So thanks again for the suggestion. Here are the chords used during the verse and chorus sections of the song. The top row of chords are played by keeping the third fret first string note still and reducing the second string note by one. In the second row of chords, you keep the note on the fifth fret fourth string still and you reduce the note on the second string by one. Paul starts the song off with an intro that sounds something like this. on the intro is you start off with this little G chord so it's just the bottom three strings and what you're doing is just hitting the third fret on the first and second strings in the open third string and then what you do is you reduce the second string by one note and then again down by one on the second string and then again so that eventually you're just left with that note on the third fret first string and that note, as you can see, stays constant throughout the whole pattern. And then you go to the second chord, which is up here on the fifth fret, and you do a similar pattern, except you reduce the second string note. And if you notice, I'm letting that third string ring open through each of these chords. pattern starts off with the first set of chords happening twice and then it goes to the second set of chords once and then back to the second set of chords where there's a special little riff that plays before playing the chorus so the whole verse and chorus section sounds like this when I call you up, your lines engage. I have had enough, 
So wide the range We have lost the time That was so hard to find And I will lose my mind If you won't see me The strumming pattern for this beginning section is like a down, down, up, up, down pattern. Down, down, up, up, down. To the next chord. Down, down, up, up, down. To the next chord. Down, down, up, up, down. To the last chord. Down, down, up, up, down. And then you repeat the pattern in this first position. Before going to the next pattern. There's an additional riff you can throw in after one of the patterns plays. It just sounds like... And there I'm just walking up each of the chords before starting the second round of strumming. There's a little variation that happens right before the chorus, and the chorus itself sounds like, And I will lose my mind If you won't see me, you won't see me You won't see me, you won't see me Time after time What's happening there is, on the word, I will lose my mind On the word mind, I'm playing a little riff and there what I'm doing is I'm on that second chord where my second string note is now on the second fret and I'm hitting that twice and then releasing the note. So I'm hitting the open chord and then back to the second fret chord before I go to the chorus which is You won't see me, you won't see me So there I'm on the word you so for you, it's that first fret note on the second string, and then won't is open. You won't see me, and then it's walking up each note. You won't see me, you won't see me, you won't see me. When you get to the bridge section, you'll need an A minor, a C minor, a G, an A, a D9, and a D. Let's take a look at these bridge chords on the guitar as they appear. It starts off with the A minor. Time after time, you refuse a C minor to even listen to a G. And then it goes to an A. I wouldn't mind. And obviously you can play this in an open A. I wouldn't mind if I knew what I D9 was missing to the D. Here's the bridge. Time after time, you refuse to even listen. I wouldn't mind if I knew what I was missing. Though the days are few, the thing. The strumming pattern for the bridge is the same as the first part. So that's just a down, down, up, up, down pattern. One thing you can do for that bridge section is add this high G to the A minor, making it an A minor 7 chord. So it's just this note here on the 3rd fret 1st string. What that does is it continues that G note that rings out from the 1st section. And if you notice, the C minor also has that G in it. And then the G, of course, has the G in it too. So it, it makes it more a smooth continuation from the bridge from the first part. Time after time, you refuse to even listen.